welcome to Supper with Stella. Today we're gonna to be making a really, really simple, quick to make beet salad. So I have got some beets here. These are beets for my garden. I roasted them up the other day for another recipe and I just decided to go ahead and roast up. Most recipes with beets, you kind of, you roast them. Um, even if you're gonna do something else like pickle them or make a salad, you roast them first. So I just decided to roast up the rest of the beets that I had on hand. Uh, I have not peeled these. So they have been roasted about 425 for 45 minutes to an hour. I put them in a foil packet or I tossed them in olive oil, salt and pepper, put them in a foil packet and then roasted them. Um, I did not peel this batch. I usually peel my beets. Uh, with store-bought beets, I've always peeled them, but I also always peel rutabagas and carrots and turnips that are from the store. But I don't necessarily peel those vegetables that are fresh from my garden. So, so as I was peeling the other beets, and you know, I hate peeling things. I hate peeling potatoes. It's just so tedious and time-consuming. And I said, you know what? I don't even know if this is necessary. So uh, I will let you know in the show notes if they turn out fine without being peeled in this salad or if I should have peeled them. But I figure it's worth the, worth the experiment this time uh, just so that I know in the future um, if, if I need to peel my garden fresh beets. So we'll see. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna make my salad dressing first. And it's just a really, really simple little vinaigrette. So I'm gonna start with a quarter cup of olive oil And then I'm gonna do three tablespoons of white balsamic vinegar. Now, if you don't have white balsamic on hand, you could use standard uh, balsamic vinegar, or you could use a white wine vinegar or like a, a champagne vinegar would be good as well. And I'm doing, I don't know if I said the measurement, about three tablespoons. I do like white balsamic vinegar, um, so I do keep it on hand, but don't go buy it. You know, as with other recipes we've done similar to this, don't, don't go buy it for just this one recipe. Uh, so just a dash, maybe like a teaspoon or so, I'm not gonna measure it, but just a little honey. And a little Dijon mustard. About the same amount, about a table, or about a teaspoon. And some salt and pepper. And the beets have, were salt and peppered when they cooked. So they have a little salt and pepper already. And then just give it a whisk. So I'm just gonna set that aside and kind of let the flavors of it start coming together. I'm gonna prep the rest of my vegetables. So I've got one shallot and then I've got celery. So this is gonna be, it's, it's about, probably about two stalks of celery that you would cut into just a small dice. We'll be doing a small dice, almost immense, um, with our shallot. This is actually, as you can see, it's really small. This is a celery I grew in my garden. This is actually the first year that I've successfully done celery, so I'm very proud of myself. Have a ton of celery. Um, but because it was my first year, I, I didn't really do a great job of thinning them out. So I have a ton of celery that's really, really small. So you might want to use two standard stalks, standard size from the store. I'm going to use this entire little head of celery because it's just not that much. Um, and this was a variety called Pink Plume. Uh, and so I don't know how well you can tell. You can tell the best on the bottom. But it's kind of a pinkish color, not not pink pink, but it's got a little bit of pink to it. I, I washed it all. Uh, I usually try, depending on what the vegetable is, but I generally try to go ahead and process my vegetables when they come in from the garden, just so they're ready to go. Some things you don't wanna do that with though. Celery definitely has been scrubbed clean. And it smells so good. It, it's actually kind of amazing how different it tastes from store-bought. Uh, it's almost the difference of like a garden fresh tomato versus a store-bought tomato. It really is a big flavor difference. Uh, 
Okay, so just go ahead and toss this into the vinaigrette. And then I'm gonna mince up the shallot as well. So just gonna kind of give everything a toss and then get my beets in. And then I am just gonna pop this in the refrigerator and we've got a side salad to eat for the rest of the week or well, the next couple of days anyway. Um, I would not, you, you could serve this immediately. There wouldn't be anything wrong with doing that. I would want to make this a couple of hours in advance at least. Um, it's gonna hold up very well, but as I just mentioned, we're gonna eat it over the next few days. It will hold up well uh, for a few days in the refrigerator. Um, but kind of like a potato salad or like a coleslaw or something, you really want this vinaigrette to kind of soak into the beets. Now, if the beets were warm, the vinaigrette would soak in so much more quickly, uh, and that would really be the optimal way to do this. But when I roasted those beets up yesterday, I honestly, I was like, whatever the excess is, I'll probably just pickle, and we'll just have pickled beets moving forward for the next few days. And then I remembered there's this little salad that I like to make. This is actually the first recipe I ever made with the beets, and it really made me like beets a lot. Um, they are such a good vegetable. They're good for you, but there's really no, I've never eaten anything else and said, hmm, that tastes like a beet. They're a very unique flavor, uh, which, you know, is uh, pretty cool, honestly, and uh, I just really enjoy them. So hopefully you will too. Thanks for joining me. Bye.